Why, good morning. Uh, 10th of February, 2023. Just as predicted, we had uh, heavy rains yesterday, heavy rains. Uh, some snow mixed in there off and on, it, but the temperature was right around 38, 39 degrees. Big melt, um, a lot of slush everywhere. Stayed 40 degrees overnight. So uh, we're dealing with uh, with a little bit of uh, heavier flow, uh, which is great. Uh, we're the pot level right now is still at 1699.46, so it's just down a little bit. And that's because the, the wickets are adjusting on the big unit. Uh, we're putting out 375 kilowatts of power right now. A huge difference from yesterday. Yesterday, we were we were running at 239. So uh, a little over 100 uh, kilowatts difference. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, the wicket gates are at 50% on the, on the big unit. Uh, and that's where we want to be. Uh, so we've got plenty of room to keep going up and down to, to maintain that pond level. So the melt on the ice, uh, the head pond won't, won't push the, the racks out and we won't get too big of a flow over them or the flash boards. Because we don't want the flash boards to fail because then we, we lose three feet of water uh, right away. That three feet makes a little bit of difference on the power. So we want to maintain that. Uh, a little, little different the, the, this morning. It's 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 still. I, I can't believe how how warm it is. Uh, we're dealing with uh, we're with with the the cooling down. It's going to cool down a little bit today. Uh, it's going to be in the 20s tomorrow, 28, and that's not too terrible, uh, which will help. Uh, we've got the snowmobile races coming up. On the lake tomorrow, um, the lake looks a little wet, so I'm a little bit leery on that. I don't know if I'll go venture down there or not. Update on the uh, on the boiler. Uh, the boiler, all the loops are in. It is running. It is doing its thing. Uh, we started packing stuff up yesterday, getting out of there. We've still got odds and ends to do. Uh, we got ends we need to put on. We've got the you know, ends of the of baseboards we need to put on. We've got to get underneath it and do some uh, uh, insulating on, on the pipes. We're going to basically insulate the pipes just to keep the, the temperatures up. Uh, interesting thing we did find though, uh, once we got the, the kick heater up running in the kitchen, and so we've got the kitchen zone and we've got a, uh, a living room basic living room zone and those zones are about the same size and then we have an upstairs so the uh the kitchen zone is what keeps running uh, it comes on shuts off comes on shuts off the zone in the living room is maintaining itself so we're not we're not seeing much difference on that one running uh and before it ran continually trying to get the house warm uh so that tells us that we have a huge amount of water, uh, air coming in from that uh, kitchen, uh, and it was dumping in everywhere. And, and, and there's some spots that that are opened up that need to be addressed there. Uh, you know, there's where the power lines go out, the electricals in that spot, and you know things like that need to be closed up uh, and taken care of. But uh, we are getting it's a cold, cold room. Uh, but the kick heater's back up right to keep it, it running well. Uh, uh, as soon as I got it to burp out, I, I put a, a, a bleeder in underneath the, uh, the sink with the kick heater itself. And once I got the air out of that, man, it started to flow and it's just continually flowing. It's doing good. Uh, I'm not, not concerned with it at all. Um, we are seeing we are seeing uh, uh, warmer temperatures, which helps. But uh, the upstairs loop, we we got those done uh, yesterday afternoon, and uh, uh, <laughs> right at three o'clock, we got a call for a well, we didn't get the call. Somebody else got the call for a, a rollover accident, which was right at at the line. So. Uh, the homeowner is on the EMS, and, and I'm on the fire department, so we both said, well, we're going to be called for that. So 
off we went. We, we didn't get called, went back, and I finished the thing up. So, uh, put a used nest in there, even though I hate nests. We put a used nest in there. Uh, I had to charge uh, once, we, once that charged up. I got that upstairs loop running. I ran it at, uh, you know, 65, 70 degrees, and, and uh, you get the smell off of it. Left everything set. Let it, it turned everything down to 65 because nobody's, nobody's in there. So we just left it at 65, let it run, uh, and maintain itself. Man, is it a big difference. Uh, that house is warm. You walk in, even the homeowner said, it's never been this warm in here. So, uh, and, and, it, and a lot of that goes back to they, they did spray foam the house. Uh, they got rid of some of the airflow. Uh, and I explained to him that, you know, they had a little propane heater. And that propane heater was heating, trying to heat the whole house. And it was drafty and, and, and it wasn't, the propane heater wasn't even close enough to be in, be in uh, the right size. Uh, then it has a few electric heaters that they ran just to try to supplement. Uh, but the difference is a propane heater, even though it's still propane, uh, it is still moist. There's still moisture in that. Uh, with the convection heat, it actually is drier. Uh, so it's it's trying to, trying to uh, it exchanges the, the air and, and it runs through the vent automatically, convects itself through it. Makes a big difference how things feel. Uh, it feels a little drier in there, it feels more comfortable, uh, and it's warming, in, as I told him, it explained to him that it warms everything in the room up. And so dropping the temperatures, just dropping the temperature of everything in the room, and then we've got to reheat everything in the room. So, you know, up and down does not help. Two, three degrees, that's not going to make that much difference. But uh, up and down temperature is not going to save him any money. It's going to actually end up costing him more money. And he's not going to be, you know, it's going to be cold in the morning. He's not going to be happy. Uh, so leave it alone. Uh, and that's, that's, that's my, my whole theory. So just leave it alone. Set the temperature and leave it alone. 30 years ago, 40 years ago even, uh, things were totally different. Uh, the efficiencies on furnace, I mean, Lennox had just came out with the, the Pulse furnace, which was a high efficiency uh, a furnace, and that was the first high efficiency furnace, and it was maybe 89, 90%. Now, most furnaces that you can buy are 94, 95, some of them are 97 percent efficient, uh, and they're getting inefficiencies by exchanging air. So, uh, you know, they work a little bit different than the old style furnaces. The old style furnaces just dump the air. These ones exchange air. 40, 50 years ago, uh, it was it was you could save a little bit of money by turning the temperature down. Today. It really don't. It, it just wants to maintain a temperature, so just leave them alone. Uh, that's my advice for, for everybody. Just, just set the temperature where you're comfortable and leave it alone. Uh, I, I have people all the time come up to me and say, well, my house, is, it, it seems to be cold. Okay, well, what's the temperature? Well, I have it set at 68. Okay, ignore that. Where are you comfortable at? And they go, what do you mean? You know, we, we don't want to turn that up. No, it's just set it where you're comfortable and it'll maintain that temperature. It won't cost you any more money to maintain the temperature at 72 as it would 68. It's just not, I mean, mathematically, yes, it probably costs you a dollar or two. But it, the, 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 the mechanisms that are in place are designed to maintain temperature. Let's uh, let's scroll out here. I'm not even going to put my hat on it. It's a little breezy, but that's about it. You can see going up the hill the amount of slush that's that's there. Uh, we were driving over all of that uh, snow that was there. That probably you know, two two inches of snow. But you know that we do that. That's what we do. Uh, you can see the river. 
river's down a little bit, even though we're our flow is higher. There goes a the log truck back in. There you go. The river, as I was saying, the river's down. The river level is just slightly down. Uh, we're running more water through the through it. Uh, it, it you got to remember, it was pretty low the other day. Our stream has opened up from the from the uh, spring, so it's running a little bit heavier. The chickens are out. They've been fed. Uh, yeah, they had they had some goulash. Well, actually, it was ziti. And they had some bread this morning and a little bit of lettuce and and uh, a few biscuits. And so they like they like having that kind of stuff. That gives them a little variety. Looks like our water level is a little higher, but it actually the ice has sank in the middle. And you can tell that by the ridges on the, the sides are coming down or flowing down. So the, the middle is is dropping. Awful thin. Awful, awful thin. The waterfall is is uh, still flowing good. It's opening up a little bit more. I don't know if you can really get a good good eye shot at that, but it's it's opening up a little bit more up there. But uh, you can see the, the sides the sides of the hill are, are starting to melt away. Uh, next week we're going to see see uh, temperatures uh, reaching 50. Uh, it's going to cool off after that. I mean that's just it's that's a teaser. <laughs> March the first. First weeks of March are supposed to be in the 20s, uh, which is pretty typical for us. I mean, we, we, we'd like to see uh, 60, but probably, eh, you know, we're probably two or three weeks away from the first 60 degree day. And <laughs> then it could snow after that. All right, get you a look down here at the uh, the river and the way things are opened up. I don't think I'd want to walk out on that ice. I'm really leery about the. Uh, the run right about the uh, snowmobile races and getting out on that ice. I don't know if it's going to be safe, but we'll find out. We'll definitely keep uh, we'll keep an eye and an ear on that and uh, and see. Uh, we'll find out at some point today. If somebody falls and goes through, then they'll have to cut, cancel the uh, snowmobile races. But there's going to be a lot of people out there, and if the temperatures are, are warm, and you know, with a warmer temperature, even though it's you know 30, we're talking 38 degrees, with with the wind blowing, it just it just eats the snow, it just cuts it right down. So let's wander up here to the uh, spring and see how that looks this morning. It's still a big chunk of ice. <laughs> Uh, you know it's flowing underneath that, so I mean, this is just slush. There's some ice underneath it. But... Had a little trouble getting up the hill last night when I came down because I was cutting through all the slush, and slush was slowing the car down. I actually had to push the four-wheel drive button. There's a shot of the. Uh, of the spring, we've got we got a few spots of open water on it, but uh, down here with there's a pipe sticking in there somewhere. So 
That's not that's not open and running yet. As you can hear, this is slush. The sun's supposed to shine at some point today in the clouds. The clouds are uh, moving quickly, so we'll see. Uh, we get sunshine with the breeze. Uh, you know, and at, at 39 degrees, we'll lose a lot of a lot of snow today. I'm gonna try to uh, get over and, and take some of the uh, some of our plunder out of the, uh, the job site. Metal, the metal on the uh, on the chicken coop is banging around. We're running to 270 right now, so a little bit of change, but that's okay. Uh, so, anyways, today we're going to, uh, like I said, we're going to try to try to do some cleanup at the at the job site. We've got to go up to Sabil, put the uh, the shower together. Uh, Monday, I'm planning on going up there and start working on the. Uh, the drains. Uh, we've got to get that pl uh, plugged up, get it pressurized. Uh, that's the only way we're going to be able to check it. And uh, because we don't, water pressure is really an issue there. And, and, I, and, I, and I think we're going to really run into some problems with it. Not me, the homeowner. Uh, what happens when you take a pole barn and turn it into a house? And they use gravity fed water from across the road up the hill and out of the spring, I said, well, you're going to need to pump. No, no, we're not going to put a pump in. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I don't care. We put a little teeny tiny one in and, and even a pressure tank on that would help. But who am I? I'm, I don't know nothing. Anyways, uh, so that's what we got. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to pressurize the, the drain lines on uh, Monday or Tuesday, get them up and running, get that finished, the, made up with the inspector. He'll look at that and sign off, and then everybody's golden. Uh, then I'm going to put the, set the toilet. Uh, the, toilet the, the, the toilet flange is going to be interesting because they poured the pipe completely into the ground. So. We'll have to work on that. Uh, but uh, so we'll we'll look at that and see what we're going to do there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The weekend I'm not going to do anything. I'm taking the weekend off. I've got to call down uh, and to to a gal and give her give her some uh, numbers basically uh, for a, a broken furnace. Uh, it's one of those you just you just hate to do. It's a, it's a sad situation, but uh, I can fill you in with details. But uh, it's going to cost her, so you know. And I don't want to do that, but it, I don't know what else to do. All right. Well, anyways, so there we go. That's where we're at. Uh, not gonna not gonna uh, make this any longer than it has to be because there's not a whole lot to talk about. I did try to get a, a video yesterday. As a matter of fact, I shot a video of the boiler and some of the loops and what we were doing there. And for some reason, it didn't save. So technical difficulties on my part, uh, but I'll I'll, uh, I'll try to get you some updated footage of what's going on there. Uh, but as always, uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of those those around you because really. Other than that, you have nothing. All right, I'll talk to you later.